Tim, what do you say to your team after a heartbreaker like that one? Well, I'm proud of them. They competed unbelievably through four games, all one goal games. Um, you know, we knew uh, we're at a different phase of our team than that team is. You know, we, we have 12 players on our team that were drafted. They got 12 players in the team that were traded for. So different phase of what they're trying to do and what, what we're trying to do. But uh, on saying all that, it's a close series. We had a chance to win games and we didn't seem to find a way for whatever reason. Um, but uh, really proud of our team, really proud of the year we had and the way they played for each other and competed and played the right way, didn't cheat the play, we didn't embellish things, we played hard and we played honest hockey. Basically four one goal games, uh, what was the difference in this series? Well just that, you know, just they found in the back of the net a little bit more than we did and and had a little more volume at the net than we did for a number of different reasons. Uh, but like I said, you know, um, their phase of their team is a different phase of our team. And, uh, but uh, um, our guys competed, they gave it everything they had, um, and we're, we're extremely happy with the effort they did. And it's a great uh, stepping stone for the future here. Um, the guys like Josh Brook and Almeida um, laid the uh, foundation for the next group coming on. Um, you know, we were not healthy in this series. We had Tracy injured. We lost Almeida tonight. Um, he basically won the assist uh, scoring title in this league w with one arm. And, uh, you know, we lose Almeida. We, we weren't 100% healthy. So a little bit of that. I know it's excuses, but um, it's reality. We weren't 100% healthy. The way you guys fought in that game, Tim, how heartbreaking is it to see it end that way you know, off the guy's skate? Yeah, well, it ends whatever way it does. It's just, you know, it just seemed to be a lot of things didn't go our way. Um, you know, from whether it was calls not went going our way, um, taking penalties or not finding the back of the net on a few of the power plays we had, hitting the goalie's knob. It just seemed to be some things didn't go our way and that's just one of those things. And, but, uh, you know, uh, it uh, is what it is. And uh, like I said, we're, we're, we're extremely proud of our players and how hard they competed for us. There's a lot of guys. How impressed were you with the way Adam seemed to step up uh, in this series for you guys? Well, you know, all our, both our goalies played extremely well. We, we just made a decision to, to play uh, Adam. Uh, um, Broden was not feeling well yesterday and not the greatest again today. So, again, all part of uh, not being 100% uh, healthy. Um, so it's just how things go. Uh, everyone uh, that dressed in the playoffs, everyone that dressed during the regular season made a huge contribution to our 40 wins and uh, putting, the, putting the culture in place again and the foundation for our team moving forward. Every game, obviously, like you mentioned, was so close. What did the Blades do that made it so hard for you to find a win in this series? Well, you know, at the end of the day, just slightly better team. They're built um, out of uh, somewhat... Uh, necessity because they hadn't been in the playoffs in six years and uh, they made a lot of trades to put that team in in the position to succeed this year and we're just retooling like i mentioned earlier they have 12 traded players on their team and six drafted players we have 12 drafted players and six traded players so big difference and uh, di different phases of uh, of teams we made the playoffs uh, after finishing first in the whole Western Hockey League last year. Um, not many teams get to the playoffs the following year after having that kind of year. We were able to do it because of the depth and the quality of people and, and the players we have in the organization. You referred to Almeida playing with one arm. Is that what knocked him off tonight? Yeah, uh, he's, he got hurt in the CIBC Russia series and he's been basically hurt since. And uh, it's an, Miraculous, the guy was able to get 78 plus assists uh, 
um, playing the way he was. Why weren't, why weren't you on the ice at the end of the game? Did you do the shake hands? Or I just didn't notice it. No, there. no, I didn't go on the ice. Was I wanted to see if it was offside or not. Okay. Yeah. What did you think about that final play then? Well, I wasn't offside. I didn't call the referees. Thanks. 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 Thanks.